Come on. There we go. Zoom out. Old Berlin. Okay, this officer has just walked up to the car and he first says, I'm going to level with you, which sounds like a positive statement. It sounds like he's going to be up front with you. He's going to um, treat you in a manner in which he doesn't normally treat suspects in your position. Then he goes directly from that to, what did you steal from Walgreens? So he goes from this positive phrase and ends the sentence with, a direct accusation. What did you steal from Walgreens? Then, if you listened, right before I paused it, he says, what did we steal from Walgreens? Now, if they're teaching that in class, then that's a very, very high level of psychology. Because what he would be doing is... Now, he knows these shoplifting um, trios or quartets. Ensembles? Uh, not everybody goes in and steals. This is probably the thousandth shoplifting uh, group he's ran into in his career. But hold on. Pump your brakes there for a second. Before you say disorderly. You're crazy. You're insane. You're seeing things. Well, then just watch at this amazing coincidence. Yeah. Okay, perfect. License valid? To the best of your knowledge? That's my license. So in that instance, the officer says, do you just not answer questions, which is completely fine? I say, yeah. He immediately asked me another question. Extremely similar to, I'm going to level with you. What did you steal from Walgreens? With no ifs, ands, or buts, just, you did it. Where is it at? How about this? Can you pop open the truck for me? Don't do it. Don't do it. Oh shit. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Okay, what did you steal from Walgreens? So the officer says, How about this? You pop the trunk for me. At that point, it's consensual. He's asking you. An officer can always ask you for your ID. You could be baptizing Siamese twin orphans. And he can ask you for your ID. He's just making conversation. It's consensual. But this is a real talking point. And put your thoughts in the comment section. Why would a grown man, an adult, readily let a police officer search his trunk when he knows his trunk is filled with stolen merchandise? Harvey. That road is Harvey. Cermak and Harvey. Where we're at.
pissing me off. He's making a lot of demands. And this guy's gonna bury himself going along with him. I had to guess that they stole a bunch of shit from somewhere and his car probably fit a description. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I think he's going in. This is an extremely interesting case study. Why would a man, out of his own free will, open a trunk full of stolen merchandise? in which the police are looking for. Why would he do that? A, he probably doesn't know his rights. He thinks everything an officer says is a lawful order. B, he doesn't realize he's being played. What the officer says, how he says it, how the officer interacts with his partner in front of the subject is all planned out. It's all psychological. And then once the subject or the driver started cooperating the officer reinforced that cooperation by saying it's not really that big a deal. The cop looked like he kind of, like a kid at Christmas. May see something they like. Oh shit, here we go. There we go. Walkman. They hit up the Walgreens over there. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Sergeant. <laughs> just, uh, I'm just a fan. But it sounds like they, they did something. They, the Walgreens is a victim here. They took some shit or something. Yeah, we're currently conducting an investigation. Cool. I'll stay out of the way. I don't really, I don't get involved. I just stay off to the side and do my thing. Cool. I got you. It's a camera though. <laughs> yep. Me? I'm just a guy. Yeah, I'm just a I'm just a guy there for the like an independent guy. I do. Freedom of the press. What is a press pass? No such thing? Journalism isn't licensed, regulated, or subject to some official stamp of approval in this country. This type of credential doesn't grant you permission to cover news. Permission isn't needed. It's the First Amendment, uh, freedom of the press. As long as you are gathering stories that are of public interest, you are press. No. Well, occasionally my stuff ends up on there. I, I'm for myself. But occasionally they, they pick it up. Like if this turns into something bigger, they might want it.
Thank you.
ายที่Someone over to the left, but that could be potentially a civilian. And uh, I'm out here by myself, so I don't want them to get all, you know, weird with me in the name of uh, protecting a witness. I could see that happening. I'm, I'm out here by myself, so I'm just gonna keep my camera trained on the subject of this arrest and not the potential witness, I'm assuming. Okay, here we go. good one he wasn't involved he was just there the other guy was the one probably went into the store he's able to leave with his vehicle nobody got her excellent it was a very professional stop thank you sir appreciate it you're welcome stay safe
world's largest laundry. The world's largest. I don't know if it's the largest. Still pretty good size though. 